I like shrimp and I like my beignets. I'm a bayou boy. Bayou boy. So if you're part of the Jerron mob, you guys know that the Jordan 34 is not only my favorite encore performer of the past year, but I think it's a beautiful looking shoe visually. I mean, I think Jordan Brand has done a really fantastic job at dropping really intriguing colorways. The launch colorway was white, black, and red. You really can't go wrong with that. It's a staple in the Jordan Brand series. And then the next colorway that I thought was really clean was this all white colorway with those silver iridescent hits. That's a really clean colorway. And then after that, they dropped the triple black colorway, which a lot of people don't know. You can't go wrong with triple black, but that triple black colorway has a green zoom bag, which reminds me a lot of the Black Cat Jordan 13. So I think that was a really nice touch. And then after that, Jordan Brand dropped the infrared colorway, which everybody and their brothers seem to really dig. But for the most part, the best colorways of the Jordan 34 have been the ones that Jordan Brand hasn't released. Like for example, the player exclusive colorways that they've been hooking up Jason Tatum with have been absolutely fantastic. Kemba Walker has had some great colorways. And of course, who could forget Rui Hachimura's Shiba Inu PE, which was just absolutely hilarious. But for the most part, the best PEs have gone to Jordan Brand's signature star athlete, Zion Williamson. And in this box, I have one of Zion Williamson's Jordan Brand sneakers. And you guys guessed it, we're gonna unbox it. So let's get straight to it. Bang! All right, we got a special edition box. Check this out, guys. It's got this metallic, it's not gold, it's, it's like brass, because I guess New Orleans is the brass city and it's got this alligator print on it. And then right here where the shoe label is, you have these teeth, which this is gonna be incorporated in the shoe design. So I'm really excited to see what these look like. I haven't seen them in person, so let's unbox them. Ooh, oh <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, look at these guys. Oh man, I was a little worried I wasn't gonna like these, but man, in person, yes, I'm happy I paid for these. These, man, I'm, look, man. I know I got a lot of sneakers, but unboxing sneakers never gets old. Oh yes, all that glue. Oh yes, give me more of that glue. Oh yes. All right, so here they are guys. This is the Bayou Boys Jordan 34 Zion Williamson PE. Now I took the pulse of the people on this colorway. A lot of you guys are split. I, I looked on Twitter, I looked on Instagram. Some of you guys thought this colorway was awesome. Some of you guys thought this colorway was just complete trash. I, like I said, I wanted to pick these up because it's Zion's first shoe to me as a sneakerhead and as a sports fan, I think that's a historic event. That's a big milestone in a basketball player's career. But I also was intrigued with the colorway. I mean, look, I understand if you don't like it, it has this mossy green bronzes type of color, which isn't the most appealing to the eye, but for me, you don't see shoes with this type of color very often. I like things that are a little bit different, and this colorway is absolutely different. And as you can see from the back here, you have the Bayou Boys on the heel in that great font. I mean, this colorway just has personality dripping all over it. Like I said, you have that unique shade of green or bronze or whatever, and then you have the Bayou Boys on the heel, you have little hints of bright crimson. This is just a very killer touch in my opinion. You're adding a little bit of color to the shoe. I really like these bright crimson hints. And then if you look towards the front on the bottom of the lacing system, you have that alligator teeth graphic, which is something simple, but it's nice that Jordan Brand went the extra mile here. And like I said, this shoe just has a ton of personality. The interesting thing about this shoe is if you didn't know this was Zion's shoe, you wouldn't know what these are. And I think that's a missed opportunity for Jordan Brand. They could have maybe put Zion's logo instead of the Jumpman right here on the tongue. I think that would have been something really cool and would have added to the collectability of this shoe. But you got the Jumpman, it's clean, it's iconic. 
But the thing I like most about this shoe is again, it looks so unique. If you look at the Eclipse plate right here, it's not metallic, it has this matte sheen to it, which they easily could have done like a metallic bronze or metallic brass colorway like they've done in other Jordan 34 colorways, but they went with the matte finish here and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. And then of course, for the overlays, you have these alligator, faux alligator material surrounding you know, the heel, the eye stays a little bit on the collar as well. And of course, the tongue is also dripped in this. You know, it looks a little cheap. It's got kind of a shininess to it. But like I said, it's unique. It's got personality. And I just really wanted to pick up this shoe because again, it's Zion's first shoe. And I think 10, 15, 20 years down the line, if I keep these dead stock, it's gonna be a pretty good collector's item, even if his career doesn't shape up, you know? I mean, knock on wood, I want him to have a fantastic, legendary career, but, you know, Zion is a huge celebrity in the basketball and the sports world right now, and I'm just happy to have his first sneaker in my collection. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, one of the reasons why I love this shoe is because I absolutely love playing basketball in it. It's an amazing encore performer, and the traction of this is something that is gonna let you keep it in your gym bag for a long time because the outsole of the Jordan 34 has held up extremely well on pretty much every floor that I played on. So if you're looking for a great sneaker with awesome traction, the 34 checks that box right there. But my favorite performance feature of this shoe is Jordan Brand implemented a, a humongous zoom airbag in the front of the shoe that you can kind of see when you look through that eclipse plate but it pretty much covers the entire front of the shoe. So pretty much anywhere you land, you're gonna get that zoom air goodness, that responsiveness and that explosiveness. And that zoom air unit is even more explosive thanks to this eclipse plate right here, which is basically a hole in the shoe. I mean, I really like how this looks. I mean, look at this guys. I could see right through the sneaker. How is that not cool? I will say though, however, Zion's Eclipse plate looks like it's barely hanging on. I mean, Zion is a big, big dude, and that Eclipse plate looks like it's holding on for dear life. But not only does this Eclipse plate look absolutely phenomenal visually, but it adds something performance-wise as well. And that's the best kind of thing. When something looks good and also has some functionality to it, now this Eclipse plate just adds a ton of smoothness and springiness to the shoe itself. So when you land on your forefoot and you take off, that Eclipse plate, like I said, adds springiness and you're gonna feel like a bunny hopping around in the woods as happy as could be, saying what's up to Bambi. Yo, what up Bambi? I'm this little bunny, I'm hopping around the wood. That is how you're gonna feel on the hardwood with the Jordan 34. So if you want an explosive experience, I highly suggest you try these on. If you guys wanted to know more about the Jordan 34 and how it performs on the court, you can check out my full performance review with the link in the upper right hand corner. It's one of the best videos that I put on the channel in terms of production. So again, check it out in the upper right hand corner or with the link in the description box below. But at the end of the day, guys, I'm really, really excited to have these in my collection. It's Zion's first shoe. It's something that I just couldn't pass on. So I pay, paid a premium for it. Um, and my wallet is a little sad, but my heart is warm because like I said, I, I really dig this colorway, but let me know where you guys stand on this. Like I said, it, it's a divisive sneaker. So let me know what you think about this colorway in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this unboxing, smash like, hit subscribe if you haven't already. We got more amazing sneaker content just like this coming your way. My name's Jaren, it's for Great Having You. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. If the shoe lands, it means this was a good purchase. All right, are you ready? Yes!